reason why the narcissist hates you. The narcissist targeted you because of your good qualities and abilities, your positive traits. That was what attracted them to you. Things that they admired, things that they found to be impressive or attractive. That was what drew them to you. It made you stand out among other potential sources which then caught their attention. Once they had targeted you, they began to live through you and your qualities and abilities. They began to live indirectly through you rather than living life for themselves. They experienced life through you as a result of watching, listening to or reading about your activities rather than doing it themselves. They began to closely watch and observe you, study your activities. They try to mimic your qualities and abilities, appeal to your own interests. They admired that, they liked it. They found it to be impressive or attractive. But then they started to realize that they couldn't process these qualities and abilities. They couldn't uphold or maintain the same virtues or moral behaviors because it had an effect on them. It was dependent on who they are. It communicated or involved them indirectly. Their vibrational frequency interacted with the qualities and abilities that you have. Your positivity is their negativity. Your practice of being or tendency to be positive or optimistic in attitude is like negativity to them because it triggers them to reflect on their own self-criticism or pessimism about something. Which is why you will notice that whenever you are feeling positive or optimistic in attitude, they will start criticizing you or being pessimistic. They start projecting their insecurities and their beliefs about themselves onto you because they cannot partake. They cannot join in on the activity of being positive or optimistic in attitude. They will tend to see the worst aspect of things or emphasize the bad part of a situation. They have a tendency to see, anticipate or emphasize only bad or undesirable outcomes, results, conditions or problems. And whenever you are around them, they will be looking for an opportunity to express their negativity. Because your positive or optimistic attitude, your qualities and abilities interacts with their low vibrational frequency. The narcissist cannot partake in the activity of being positive or optimistic in attitude. It makes them feel intensely annoyed or bored. They cannot get the same level of fulfillment. It makes them feel disappointed, mortified or miserable. Which is why they soon begin to hate you. They begin to express strong dislike for you where they will begin criticizing or abusing you. 
they will develop a strong aversion towards you, a desire to avoid or turn away from you. But if they did then decide to avoid you and not return to you, that would be a decision based on or in, in accordance with reason or logic. That would be a healthy, understandable decision. If a person's attitude or activities make you feel disappointed, mortified or miserable, you should not choose to return or be around them. But the narcissist has a severe mental disorder in which their thoughts and emotions are so impaired that they have lost contact with external reality. So even though their feelings of disappointment, mortification and misery are so intense to make them feel unwell or nauseous, they will continue to return or be around you. They will continue to use up your time and energy because they want to have the feeling of interest and excitement. They want to fulfill a desire or need. They want to experience the satisfaction and enjoyment of what it is like to be around you or in your, per or in your presence. And this is how you know that they have a mental disorder. Because this is exactly what narcissists do. They will associate themselves with you. They will watch and observe you. They will study and analyze your activities and everything that you are doing. But this is information that they are not meant to absorb. They are not activities that they should be participating in. They are not ideas or experiences that they can take in or fully understand. And yet it takes up their attention and interests them greatly. But they cannot process the information. So they feel disappointed, mortified or miserable. Which then causes them to hate it. It causes them to express strong dislike for it. Where they will then criticize it or abuse you. It makes them want to punish you. Or drive you into a particular state or condition. The information, activities, ideas or experiences that you share. Has a strong emotional effect on them. It makes them feel disappointed, mortified or miserable. So they become opposed to it. They want to put an end to it. Because it is not compatible with them. Because it conflicts with who they are. The information, activities, ideas or experiences. Your qualities and abilities. Your traits. Who you are as a person. They hate it. And they continually criticize or abuse it. So why do you continue to fill their mind? Why do they continue to make use of you? When you see this behavior, you need to identify that you are dealing with people who are mentally ill. People who are experiencing disappointment, mortification or misery from their lack of fulfillment. People who are not operating normally or properly and are unable to deal adequate, adequately with normal social relations. Because normal people do not possess such a low level of awareness. Such a low level of ability or power to do or understand something. 
But this is why they have such a distorted way of thinking and feeling. This is why they have such limited control of their thoughts and emotions. They hate you and they criticize or abuse you because they cannot get the same level of satisfaction or happiness that you can achieve very easily. They continue to return to you and be around you because while they hate you, they do need everything that you provide to them. They need an opportunity to project their insecurities and negative beliefs about themselves onto you. It regulates their emotions and boosts their self-worth, self-esteem and self-importance. It makes them feel as though they have power and control over you. But it's not meant for their use. And it's not designed for that purpose. Which is why every time that they make an effort to watch and observe you or gain more knowledge about you, it has a strong emotional effect on them. It causes them to criticize or abuse you. It causes obsessive thoughts where the thought of you and your interests or activities preoccupies and fills their minds continually and to a troubling extent where they are constantly talking or worrying about you until they become stalkers until they harass or persecute you with unwanted and obsessive attention these behaviors all have a clear connection or tie to the disorder within them and this is why they hate you. This is why they criticize or abuse you. Because they cannot experience the same level of satisfaction or happiness that you can achieve very easily without feeling disappointed, mortified or miserable from trying to use or partake in something that they are not meant to use or be partaken in. This is wildly unreasonable, illogical and inappropriate behavior. They are crazy. And that is why they approach or return to you so enthusiastically, which then only manifests in wild or aggressive behavior. They are mad people and they are out of their minds. And that is why they will continue returning to the very thing they claim to hate. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.